Hello everyone, welcome back to Shabes Online Tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to solve for the value of P in this exponential equation. And the given equation is what? 24 over 3 raised to the power of P is equal to 64 to the power of P minus 3. And we're asked to solve for the value of P. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do, 24, 3 can go into 24 8 times. So 24 divided by 3 is the same as 8 to power P which is equal to what? 64 to the power of P minus 3. So the next thing we are going to do is to make this base to be the same. Do you know that 8 can also be written as 2 to the power of 3? Because when you multiply 2 by 2 by 2 into 3 places, it's going to give us 8. Then all to the power of P, which is equal to 64 is the same as what? 2 to the power of 6. When you multiply 2 by 2 into t into 6 places, it's going to give us 64. Then all to the power of what? P minus 3. So the next thing we're going to do is to recall power law of indices. You know, 2 is raised to the power of 3 and all is raised to the power of P. Now we can multiply the two power together. So we're going to have what? 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by P is going to give us 3P, which is equal to 2. Then 6 multiplied by P is 6P minus 6 multiplied by 3 is going to give us 18. Now we have successfully made the base to be the same. Then recall one of the property of indices. Since the base is the same, then we are going to equate the power. So the first power is what? 3P, which is equal to the second power, which is what? 6P minus 18. Now we are going to solve for the value of P. The first thing we are going to do is to combine the light term. So we are going to take this 6P to the left hand side of this equation. We are going to have what? 3P. This is positive. When it crosses this equality sign, it's going to change to negative 6P, which is equal to what? Negative 18. So since the variable, they have similar variable, so we can take away 6 from 3. So if you take away 3P, 6P, from 3p, we are going to have what? Minus 3p, which is equal to what? Minus 18. Then we divide through by the coefficient of p, which is what? Minus 3 and also minus 3. So that this minus 3 is going to cancel out this minus 3. In the left hand side, we're left with only p, which is equal to what? Negative once we cancel the negative. 18 divided by 3 is the same as 6. Therefore, 6 is the value of P that satisfies this exponential equation. Thank you for watching and please follow and subscribe for more.